Yo, what is going on, you Giggly Guard Chomp? Playing some games with Reshi Ram today. Um, played around with it on the stream, twitch.tv slash azulgg a little bit. This is the build I ended up coming to. Uh, if you don't know how this deck works, we use Reshi Ram, Reshi Ram and Zekrom Tag Team GX as our main attacker with the Fable Flare Bolts and the Cross Break GX. And we accelerate energy into play with End Resolve and Welder. And then we take big one-shot knockouts, or we use the Cross Break uh, GX to do 170 damage to two different Pokemon. We do have to play the End Resolve on the turn we want to use that GX attack, um, or it's not going to be very good. It's still not terrible. Sniping for 170 on like a Dedenne can be good to close out games still. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That's all I really have to say about the deck. Um, this is the list. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. All right, we did lose the coin flip here um, in this first one opponent is opting to go first our opening hand is not too good um it's all right it's not terrible uh we're gonna have to open the orangaroo and then uh probably dead a change the whole hand away um i mean it sets up the coco prism which is nice by getting that many lighting energy in the discard pile looks like we are up against malamar hopefully it's not spelt never mind it probably is spell tag malamar spell tag malamar is a pretty bad matchup um and that's a pretty good amount of ink case to get down turn one going first so our opponent's off to a pretty good start uh so far <laughs> triple ink a garatina viridian forest discard energy attach energy is pretty good um without being able to play a uh draw supporter on turn one yeah so i think our opening is just going to be dead a change and then hope we draw decently from there okay there is a cherish ball this is going to change things for us actually we're gonna go for that end resolve here and hope to hit really big i'm gonna primate wisdom one of the lightnings back on top we get the Recycler, which was a terrible draw there. Um, here we go, End Resolve. Trying to hit a lot, one, two, three, four. That is a lot. So we can turn one, cross break GX. I'm gonna attach his Lightning here so we can find Zerora and then retreat this to Dene. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead Verdian Force here as well. Um, Zerora's in there. I'm gonna fail it and then I'm gonna Energy Recycler the energy back into the deck. Um, so we have that one extra energy for later. Here we go, Dede Change. We got switches. We got quick balls. Here's a Cherish Ball. We're going to go ahead and use that. Get ourselves that Zero Aura. And we got that turn one cross break. That's actually, that's pretty good. Uh, here we go. Uh, cross break GX. I think we should knock out the two benched NKs here. Um, yeah, just ignore the Giratina. Knock out the NKs. Maybe this active NK stays trapped for a turn. And then we knock that out. And then they just don't have any Malamars to work with. And then we just win the game that way. That can be... Whoa, that's a lot of fire energy. All right, that's a little too many fire energy for us to have. We could have knocked out the Tina and an NK. Um, that would have been the other option to go with. But this feels a little bit better. They do have a draw supporter to work with. Like I, like I said, we're hoping that this Malamar stays stuck for a turn. Um, and they aren't able to move it out of the active... We knock it out. They pretty much have just this NK to work with for energy acceleration. And then they're just not able to set up attackers from there. That's our that's our game plan. That's our not our game plan. That's what we're hoping what happens. Our game plan is to just take a knockout every single turn and hope our opponent doesn't get too far ahead on the prize exchange. Because this matchup overall is not a ridiculously good matchup. Um if they like attack turn two on. Tina's set up. Do they have the switch? We're really hoping they don't. One time, no switch, please. Yes, no, maybe, what, what What do we got? Anything, something, nothing? They're taking their time on this one. Another spell tag, okay, looks like they're giving up the Malamar. Spell tag to Malamar, they're giving up the Malamar. Took them a little bit while, took them a little while to decide to do that. But she got around to it though. Okay, so we actually want to attack with Zerora um, in this matchup. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to do that right now. I feel like I'm just going to retreat to Zerora and tag switch this energy up to Zerora. Um, or maybe just the double lightning. No, we should go fire lightning. That way this guy has a fire and a lightning, um, <clears throat> up to Zerora. I'm going to go ahead and Viridian Forest away this guy. Cause we don't really need it. Get that second lightning for the Zerora. Um, and then just go ahead and Plasma Fist, take this knockout. Yeah, there's no reason, because if we attack with two Reshi Roms, then we're just kind of <clears throat> feeding our opponent uh, a lot of prize cards. Um, like, we just feed him Reshi Rom to Reshi Rom, that's just six prize cards. Uh, but if we go Zerora, takes a hit, then we go Reshi Rom, Reshi Rom, that makes the, the Reshi Roms overall take one less hit and not as fast. They're going after our Dedenne here, <clears throat> excuse me, with the spell tag damage, which is uh, interesting. 
uh, to say the least, I guess. Yeah, going after my Dedenne with the spell tag damage is... Sure, that's fine with me, I guess. Um, doesn't hurt me too bad. Just could be chilling. We got a switch here, so we could switch in Plasma Fists again next turn if we want to. Um, probably going to search out another restaurant with this Quick Ball attached to that. Maybe Quick Ball for the Coco Prism as well. We pretty much have everything we need in play right now. We don't really need to find anything else. Um, yeah, depending on what they... It looks like they're going to be able to attack with next turn. I'll decide what I attack with. Because if, if I think they're going to attack with um, the uh, Copycat Mimikyu, then I definitely want to hit with Reshiram. Um, because if I hit with Plasma Fist, then Copycat Mimikyu can actually hit me for 160 damage. Um, but with Reshiram, they don't play basic fire or lightning energy, so Copycat would do effectively zero damage. So we probably want to attack with Reshiram this turn instead of potentially attacking with the uh, Plasma Fist again. Maybe we'll plasma use the Plasma Fist guy on the turn after. Yeah, but I think we're going with the, the Reshiram hit here. And uh, yeah, we're going to retreat. I'm going to... Let's quick ball away the switch. I don't think we need the switch anymore. I might regret that. I don't think I'm going to. We're going to get this guy, start getting this guy set up, attach, and then, yeah, they will flare bolts. Uh, we're just going to discard the two off the Zer Aura because those ones are probably going to get removed from the game by this Mew next turn. They'll probably put three spell tag damage here or two plus a ping from the distortion door and then side power knock it out. They put all four. I guess that's also fine. doesn't really make that big of a deal. Um, yeah, so we're going to lose this one energy on this Zer Aura, but, but it is making them chase a two prize Pokemon, so now they have to knock out this, and they have to still get two more knockouts to win the game. They can't just knock out this and knock out a Reshiram and be game over. They gotta knock out this. They, I mean, they put the spell tag damage on this the Dene for some reason, so they might go after this the Dene, and then maybe after our, our Reshiram again? I don't know, but I think that means we just have plenty of time to win the game at this point. We have the Quick Ball to get ourselves that Coco Prism which will give us enough energy in play to take these last two knockouts. And I don't think there's anything our opponent can do about it. I think we have this one pretty much wrapped up. We'll see uh, in these next couple turns. There is a Latios with Tag Purge. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That'll stop us from, uh, from attacking. That'll work, actually. That'll work. I didn't see that coming. Um, we could attack with Coco Prism, though. We could attack with... Orangaloo with a uh, whap down and we can attack with um, <clears throat> Excuse me Coco Prism to potentially get around the Latios so that becomes our game plan at this point. I wish I had that switch now um, But we should be able to find plenty of other energy acceleration to close out this game. Let's see. There's a heat factory Which is good tag switch. I definitely want to keep around quick ball. I want to keep around. I'm just gonna replace it with heat factory and use heat factory here draw some cards Um, okay, here. Oof. I really wanted a welder there. Um, yeah, I really wanted a pokey gear there. Unfortunate. Um, is there or was a good way to hit this thing? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I go. Uh, attach here, and then. Fabled Flare Bolts, get rid of this one, knock out this Mew. Took out the Mew. We have one prize card left, but getting through this guy might be quite troublesome, actually. I really wish I had kept that switch. I'm not going to lie. I really wish I had kept that switch. I was feeling really good about this one. Now I'm feeling way less good about the current situation. I'm going to... Hmm. Yeah, I should have kept the switch. Did not think about my opponent going into Latios. That definitely is a game changer for sure. Um, we can hit it for 70 and 70 with this. We could even hit it with the dead if we wanted to actually as well. Um, great catcher up my other Reshiram it looks like. They hit it for 120, but they have four prize cards left, which means knocking out this Reshiram doesn't win them the game uh, quite yet. So we still have time to work with. I really needed a welder there. Welder there would have been great. Maybe we'll top deck a welder. I, I also haven't been using Primate Wisdom, I realize, and I could have been Wisdomine and maybe getting uh, something else going. It's fine though, we'll be fine. I have a switch left. Here comes the distortion door, don't really care about that. We just need to draw one prize card to win this game. Quap down, we can hit him with the Dene as well. Yeah, we might start smacking him with the Dene to be honest. We might start hitting him with that uh, Static Shock. And Static Shock twice and then hit him with the Quap down, I guess. Um, that would work. If we can get a switch, we can uh, tag switch this over to this Dene, a new fresh, fresh to Dene. Um, or we could hit him with the Coco Prism because Tag Purge actually doesn't one-shot Coco Prism. So that can also be our game plan here. Might want to go with the Coco Prism game plan, actually. Just hit this for 120. Um, 
maybe ends resolve a bunch of energy into play, actually. Get the Coco Prism out of the deck, ends resolve a bunch of energy into play, and then go from there. I kind of like that idea. Let's go for that. And then maybe Daddy Chain try and hit this switch. If it's still in the deck. All right, let's see what our top deck is. Another fire. Definitely not what we want. Quick pull us away. Coco Prism. <clears throat> Decent amount of energy. The switch is there as well. So I think we just hope the end resolve doesn't hit the switch here when I go for it. Um, maybe I don't go for it. No, I think we go for it. Yeah, let's go for the end resolve. I could have put an energy on top once again. We've got double lightning. That's what I wanted here. So now we can bench the Cocoa Prism. Attach the Cocoa Prism. Tag switch to lightning over to the Cocoa Prism. And then dead a change. Maybe I want to put a fire back in the deck. I don't think so. Dead a change. No switch, but we can this get a welder. Draw three more cards. I'm gonna thin out this Rayquaza here because I don't think we're gonna need two Rayquazas. Um, I can't welder yet though. But that's right. I can't welder. We still got this guy though. Primate wisdom. Fire on top. That's not a switch. We can welder retreat next turn though. Pass over to my opponent. All right. I still think we got this. Can welder to the active, attach lightning, retreat. They usually only play one great catcher, so they probably can't great catcher us again. Because, yeah, only one great catcher means you can't great catcher twice. Uh, if they do attack us with Esper this turn, which they can, and they can knock out this guy, we can just welder active, retreat, and knock him out with pretty much anything. We can hit him with the whap down, even. So we got this one locked up. This is it. This is over. I don't think they can pull it off. Gonna go into the Coco next turn. They can't one shot the Coco because of Tag Purge, only does 120, and they would have to one-shot it with this guy. And even if they hit it, one-shot it with this guy, we'd be able to respond with the whap down on the next turn and get the knockout. Um, and who knows, maybe we even get the switch and then just switch, and then that works even better. Um, I think we actually maybe still need the switch at this point. All right, we maybe still need the switch. If we don't get the switch this turn, they'll go knockout, then knockout. So we need the switch. Let's get the switch. Well, they're here, two fires, got the switch. Um, so we don't want to use that over hard retreating, I think. Yeah, switch. Mock Bolt for 120. Boom. They have four prizes left. I think we've got them. They could actually put us in a checkmate scenario. We could put it into a sudden death scenario. Actually, not anymore, because there's this in the skateboard here. If they had a spell tag here, when we go to knock this out, um, they could snipe the Denny when we went to knock this out. They could put this damage here, but they put a skateboard on here instead. So actually... I don't think they can put us in a a uh, stalemate scenario anymore. Oh wait, no, they can. They can just tag purge this. No, because then I can retreat this, uh, use its ability, and then attack with clap down. Okay, okay, we should be good. We should still be good. I'm trying to come up with ways for them to put it in a uh, a what's it called scenario? A uh, scenario where yeah, so it doesn't work. So we can retreat our Coco Prism and then use its ability, get it out of play, and then only knock out this. Okay, we got it locked up here. Retreat to my dude here, um, attach to the whap down, use the ability so it leaves play, um, and then we're all good, then we're all good. If they had the, the thing on there and not even hit the what's it called, then we would have been in trouble, but they didn't. So we got through the Latios, finally, we got the dub, super ridiculously strong turn one. Leads to a rather intense mid-game, but uh, we get the dub in the end with the whap down over our opponent's Latios uh, GX. Um, that was giving us giving us uh, so much trouble there at the end. Okay, we're going first here in this one. Um, let's see what we got. All right, not not a whole ton for going first. Um, Got the Cherish Ball to welder to it on the next turn. Maybe our opponent opened a Baby Ball Canyon. All right, Cherish Ball. I think we just grab the Rushy's Art and then welder to it next turn, though. I think that's just going to be the game plan here. I could attach a Lightning Active. Um, or welder the Fires. I could welder the. I could attach a Lightning Bench and then actually welder the Fires to the. I don't want to welder two Fire to the Active, though. That doesn't sound very good. Um, I need more Pokemon, man. Um. It's gonna attach a lightning bench, I guess. Pass. Um, seems fine. Welder two fire to the bench next turn, I guess, as well. Then, um, yeah, we'll see what our opponent's playing here. There's the baby volcanion that usually means green zard, um, but I guess it could be something different. But it's probably green zard. We'll just have to kind of wait and see what our opponent's playing. There's the wait and see hammer. I have feelings, green zard. <laughs> yeah, 
almost definitely Greenzard. Um, there's the greens. All right, get themselves a tag call, get themselves, I don't know, something else to work with their hand. Got that early wait and see hammer, which is oh so annoying to deal with, but not that big of a deal. We should still be fine to hopefully pull off a big attack next turn. There's a heat factory that we can work with as well. Like I said, the tag call, there it is. A um, little bit of missequencing there from our opponent. Um, yeah, so they got the heat factory. We can definitely utilize that. There's two Reshizard. Um, I don't play any gust effects in this deck, so we're just going to have to knock out through the Volcano and then try and one-shot two Reshizards. Uh, it is possible our opponent does play the big charms, which makes the Reshizards pretty big. Pretty annoying to actually take knockouts on, but it is still possible we can get there this turn. All right, here we go. The Flare Starter. They put one on the active, which means they can't double blaze next turn now, um, which is pretty good for us. All right, I'm going to Welder here. See what we draw. Okay, I'm going to Heat Factory. So again, see what we draw. I would have liked another Pokemon. We're kind of stuck again. Well, hang on. So I can go... No, because we need another Pokemon for this dance. Um, if I attach or treat... Yeah, we're just like an energy short here, which feels really bad. Um... I guess we should just go with, a, uh, if I attach a treat, dance, tag switch up two, I can attack for not enough damage. Uh, man, I'm stuck on this one. What are we doing? What are we doing? Attach. I can still attach active. Attach here. Um, attach the fire to the bench guy, I guess, for right now. Yeah, attach the fire to the bench guy and just pass again. I, I guess this is fine. Um, yeah, we're going to be able to use Heat Factory next turn. Hopefully it sticks for another turn. Uh, get rid of this fire. Draw some more cards. Hopefully another basic Pokemon so we can dance with the Ancients to two Pokemon. Um, I don't really care if they knock out this Coco here with uh, this guy because hopefully we'll be able to pull off a weight. There's that big charm I was talking about. That th makes things pretty annoying. If we do get an end Resolve, though, we could now go end Resolve, knock out this with the GX attack, set this thing up to be knocked out, and then go knock out, knock out, and then the game would be over. So I think that's going to be our game plan here. Um, there's a double custom on a Reshizard, though. That's a little bit annoying, bringing this up to the active to hit it, but it looks like they don't have a ton to work with in their hand, so... Overall, I think it's okay. All right, Heat Factory. We're going to look for that End Resolve here. There's the End Resolve. Um, I think I want a Recycler before I End Resolve. Um, use this first, then out the deck of another End Resolve. Recycler. Put three energy back in the deck. Um, and then End Resolve. Hit a lot of energy. Hit two. That is enough to GX attack. So we're going to bench this guy. I can attach the lightning, move a lightning and a fire up, knock out 170. Is there a better way to do it? I don't see a better way to do it. Um, yeah, attach, tag switch, um, this guy, these two, up to this guy, and then, yeah, cross break. I should put this in place somewhere. Just throw it there. Um, yeah, cross break, GX. Um, oh, I guess we have to only go bench Pokemon. Okay, that's fine, though. We still knock out this. And actually, we knock out the Undead Fossil now, so we don't get item locked. I forgot it only goes bench. I was like, okay, we can go active bench. But this is fine too. Set this guy up, get around the big charm, knock out this guy next turn. Is there aura super good to keep things mobile and keep things moving around? Alright, I'm feeling good about this one now. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, if they want a hard retreat, outrage knock me out, that's fine. Confident we'll be able to get a knockout on our next turn to knock this thing out. And then we have to get through this Reshi Ram, and the game will be over. They're going with the high heat blast instead. That is also fine. Um Thinking about just using End Resolve here. I kind of have everything. I feel like I have everything I need. Yeah, let's go with End Resolve. I just want a lot of energy. That's energy. Put them there. Um, I'll Heat Factory. Why not? Draw some more cards. Cool. Puts Aurora in play. Gonna retreat to this guy. Attach a fire. And Fable Flare Bolts. Discard two from this da really damaged uh, Reshiram. Um, and yeah, we got a ton of energy in play. We're attacking. Our opponent only has two, uh, Reshi Roms, Reshi Zards to work with, neither of which can double blaze right now, which is the big deal. Neither, neither of them are even close to being able to double blaze, so that means we should be able to go just like a knockout, knockout, unless they have a second big charm, which would be really annoying, actually. If they have a second big charm for a Reshi Zard, that would be insanely annoying to deal with. Um, but if they don't, we're chilling. Uh, if they don't have that extra, that second big charm. If they do play two big charm, though, that's that's going to be annoying to deal with. 
that's a great catcher. So they're getting aggressive about KOing this guy, but that means they don't really have a way to set up that next knockout. Um, not sure they would anyways, though, really. So maybe this is just the, the only kind of line of play they can go down anyways. Um, yeah, it seems like this might be the only thing they can do anyways. So, I mean, you got to do something, right? You can't just sit here and do nothing as uh, as my opponent. So, um, they got that great catcher. That means they're almost for sure great catcher knocking this guy. I guess it takes two energy out of play. But then, once again, they don't have another way to draw those last three prize cards. They don't have a really great way right now to draw the last three prize cards. And I don't think they're going to be able to come up with a way in time to give themselves a shot at winning this one. Um... Feels pretty good, man. Feels like we're in a pretty good spot. I could even attack with this guy next turn if I wanted to, to knock out this. And mean there's no three prizer in my active. I can't come up with a way for them to knock out my three prize Pokemon. I guess Surge, Welder, Welder would be a way. You do sometimes see the Surge in these um, Reshizard decks. Um, or Greens, Reshi Greens decks. Green, Greenzard, Greenzard decks. I don't even know what I'm saying. So we're going to do that, I think. I think we're going to do this. Here we go. Attach Welder there as well. Draw three. Uh, Heat Factory. Uh, play a Cherish Ball. Just get the guy out of the deck. I don't really want to put him in play. Uh, yeah, this guy's got what? 130 HP left. This guy's hitting for 160. And then either of these guys hit for uh, 270 next turn. So yeah. I guess the one thing we do play around here by attacking with Zerora instead of the Reshiram is Surge, Welder, Welder, Attach, GX Attack, Knockout. They can still do that and Gust one of these guys up, but we make them work a little bit harder. They're down two Customs. They're down the Great Catcher. So they'd have to Surge, Welder, Welder, and get Double Custom. Um, so that gives us... Uh, that makes them, makes them have to work a little bit harder. That's basically it. They just have to work a little bit harder. Um, so may as well make them work that little bit harder. Um, to win the game because it doesn't hurt our next turn damage potential like we still do 270 damage next turn with either Reshi's art here's the welder that's not a surge so I think that means we have this one pretty much locked up unless they have some way to draw an extra prize card this turn right here right now I guess it's like, can attack twice in a turn somehow I can't come up with anything it looks like it's gonna be a flare strike and then ideally I guess they plan to attack next turn with the double blaze to knock out a Reshi's art but um we got the knockout right here, right now, and that's gonna do it. We're gonna take two dubs uh, with the Reshi Ram in these in this uh, video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and uh, have some fun with uh, Reshi Ram yourselves. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Uh, oh, if you did enjoy the video, give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and uh, peace.